questions tonight about this video appearing to show Border Patrol agents confronting refugees aggressively on the Rio Grande. Hey, sir. You wanted to see me? My name's Gerald. Just said to come down here ASAP. I did, Gerald. Have a seat. I'd shake your hand, but you know, COVID. I don't imagine that this conversation will come as much of a surprise to you, Gerald. Actually, sir, I'm a bit confused as to why I'm here. Uh, I'm supposed to be in the field over there with my guys for at least another week. You know, we've got a big mission and whatnot. Big, big mission. You came straight back from that big mission, did you? I did, sir. I did. Haven't had a chance to see the news, have you? No, sir. Haven't seen the news. None of that. Haven't had time, you know. Twitter? Have you seen Twitter? Nope. CBP Slack? Have you seen the CBP internal Slack? Did you check that? No. -uh. Parlor? You've, you've checked Parlor, maybe? Well, Parlor, I did check out Parlor, sir, just this morning when I woke up last night before I went to sleep. But why is that relevant, sir? I'm not, I'm not following. So this is you yesterday on your big mission. Is that right? Right here. That's you. That guy. Hat. Whip. Horse. Uniform. These Haitian migrants, that's you, right there. That guy with a whip and a horse in 2021 on the border with a whip and a horse in the year 2021 of our Lord, that's you. Oh, yes, sir. That's me. Missioning away, sir. That was yesterday morning. We were just corralling some border crossers. You mean border crosses? Crossers! Sorry, that's how I say it in the field. That's how they train us. Crossers! You know, they do train us to say it like that. So that's the way I say it. I can't really say it any other way. I'll try them. Say, border crossers! That's a pretty hard R you use there, Gerald. Very, very hard R. Yes, yeah, sir, I can't help it. I don't know what it is. Look, Gerald, it's not my job to pat you on the penis when things are going badly for you as an officer. Everybody has bad days. But this whole thing, Gerald, this whole thing, this, this is a bad look for the department. Oh, which part, sir? Is it, is it the horses? No, the horses are cool. The horses, Gerald, are cool. They're cool. Everybody loves horses. I'm not talking about the horses. The horses, I repeat. Are cool. Well, if it's dirty boots, sir, I can explain the dirty boots. We didn't have time to clean this morning. Gerald, it's not the boots, son. It's not the dirty boots. I've taken the liberty of pulling one of our recent HR trainings that you participated in, and I'm just going to give you this here. You go ahead and look at that. Do you know what that paper is, Gerald? Remember, this is from our uh, History of Slavery HR uh, 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 work day, you know, our history of slavery work day. Remember where we talked about being less symbolically obvious with racism. Do you remember this? Do you remember that, Gerald? This slide here, sir, and this one here? Yeah, yeah, and no, I remember this one. Right here, Gerald, it says, things we don't want to look like. And three things are labeled. Three things are labeled, Gerald. The suit, the hat, the whip, and the whip emotion, they're number three. We kept it pretty simple. You know, those are the three things we want to avoid together. At that time, Gerald, if you remember, we said we don't want to perpetuate symbols from antebellum racism, the very, very, very racist times. We deliberately didn't talk about racist times. We talked about very, very, very racist times, Gerald. And at that time, I taught you an analogy. Do you remember that analogy? That was supposed to help you keep this straight. Uh, you said a stool can sit on two legs, and it can sit on three legs, but it can't sit on one leg. 
Is that right? Is that right, sir? That's right, Gerald. A stool can sit on two legs or three legs, but not on one leg. And so one out of three of these is okay, but never two together. And you, my friend, have all three together. You've got a white suit. You've got a slaver's hat. And God damn it, Gerald, you have a whip. And you're using the goddamn whip, Gerald. Son, that means you still got a standing stool. But sir, in my defense, this photo doesn't tell the full story, sir. It does not tell the full story. I didn't have a whip. That's the reins to my horse. If there's a video, you'll just see I'm using the reins just to turn around, sir, but that is not a whip. Oh, you didn't whip your horse reins towards the Haitian immigrants who were fleeing you, Gerald? Not even a little bit? Well, maybe just a bit, sir. Just a bit. You can't help it out there. It's so fun. You're in your horse. You're in your horse, sir. And that thingy you're pointing at, that photo of you where you say you don't have a whip, is what exactly? Oh, this, sir. This thing. Oh, well, this is my personal whip. I carry it on my person. It's open carry in Texas and whatnot. It's open carry, so I carry it on my person. Yeah. But that's not a standard issue whip, is it, Gerald? This, this right here, I, I reckon it's not, sir. It's, it's a personal whip. So what do you use that for, Gerald? All the girls, sir. All the girls love it. All the girls. All the girls, Gerald. All the different girls in this country dig a slaver's whip that you carry on your private person. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, just the white girls, I guess. Uh, anyway, sir, am I in some kind of trouble? Trouble? Am I getting fired? Like, what's going on? Trouble, son. Oh, heck no. I just got to bust your balls a little bit. This is the CBP. Unless we catch you inside of a cage with an inmate and at least one other animal it doesn't really move the needle. No, son, the thing you're going to have to do, though, is get in regulation gear by the end of the day. Molly down at the lobby, she's going to hook you up with everything you need. Woo! Woo-wee, sir. You had me worried for a second. You really did. You really Gerald! The whip. Yep. Yeah. The whip needs to stay here.